Hi there, I'm Danny Henderson. Welcome back to my beautiful channel. Many of you that come and see me every week, you've come to understand this channel is about the absolute disclosure of everything corrupt on your planet, from religion to science, to medicine, to history, to UFOs, to the military, to every single thinkable system on your planet where you live on this beautiful, beautiful being here and everything that is dark and wrong and the people doing the dark and the wrong and the demonics doing the dark and the wrong and the former extraterrestrial Sakaar and Greys who were doing everything wrong. We report here on this channel. The uncensored stuff comes through our once a year conference called Galactic Spiritual Informers Connection. Just go to galacticspiritualinformers.com and you will be amazed at the lineup of speakers this year. But right now I wanna talk about a couple of other areas that we really do, those of us on a journey of self-discovery, self-realization, and learning how to not follow people, learning how to not be addicted to celebrity, to fame, learning how to not give our power away to one single person, no church, no pope, no vicar, no teacher, no husband, no wife, no lover, no cousin, no brother, no nothing. You are an individual spark of the God or the beautiful creator that you believe that you came from. And in that, you stand with your strength. Now, we're gonna get into some of the news at the moment. As we're seeing all of the systems on our planet crumble into obscurity, we're now watching the hip hop. Hip hop, mostly black, beautiful, beautiful, black African-American men and women, mixed races, few whites in there as well. Watch if you get triggered watch if you get triggered. We gotta be aware of the programs that have been inserted in us. Oh, don't say black, oh, don't say African. Balls, I'm saying it, I'm saying it. Some of us feel the need sometimes to defend why we would say something like that. Well, just go and have a look at who's in my family and who isn't. Anyway, moving along. We're looking at people like Puff, Daddy, Diddy, Doddy, whatever he calls himself, um, Jay-Z and Beyonce, really, really, really big names. Now. Puff Daddy has been searched, let's put it that way, and people have found stuff. Um, and it is coming out that he has been harming boys and men in the most unthinkable ways. Okay, just use your imagination because YouTube censor regular words that we would use to describe the misuse of humans and children, uh, young boys in particular and young girls. And so the Puff Daddy boy has been um, pimping at a very high level, filming, blackmailing, etc. just the same as Epstein did with Ghislaine Maxwell. It's not Ghislaine, it's not, not Ghislaine, it's Ghislaine. I know that because I know somebody who was married into that family, the Maxwells. So we need to say the names correct because the names hold a vibration. If you want justice, get the names right, all right? Sometimes we don't always know, so I just happen to know that one. Okay, so Puff Daddy is now under extreme observation. Now, someone like him isn't just running on a regular organic body vessel. Somebody with that level of power, nine times out of 10, is going to have demonic plug-ins. People at that level, as we're seeing, often come with experiences that they've gone through in the occult practices, the black magic, the demon, the dark, the devil, Satan, Lucifer, whatever name you want to give it, the dark. And it is so in your face now, it can no longer be denied, which is horrific to a lot of people and really good news for others who've been part of it, who've seen into it, who know it's real. I know it's real. From a very, very young age, from as young as I can even think and remember, I have been seeing the dark, the demonics. And I don't mean just your little imp, little darkness. I don't just mean that the earthbound man who was an alcoholic when he died, doesn't want to go to the light, wants to still be connected, attached to people, hang in their space, you know, get them to drink, get them to smoke, get them to do drugs. That's an earthbound spirit, a former human that was incarnate mostly, that now doesn't want to go to the light, return to soul, return to God, return to where they came from, point of origin, and attached to people. I'm not talking about those kinds of demons, although I've seen those two and see them still, 
and especially around people. I can see them on YouTube. I can look at the screen on YouTube and I can tell you, I can see straight through. I can see the layers, the levels. You can hear it in the voices, okay? So I'm telling you that the demonics, it's real. Demons are real. Sacrifices, rituals, it is real. It's been going on for as long as we even can imagine, but never more so in the last 70 years where you've been seeing the whole of the planet corrupt. Now, Last year, year before, there were some extremely malevolent extraterrestrial presences that all of your governments have known. They've all done deals. Now, I don't care if you don't believe it. Go and watch something else. I have no interest in the bah because that's the program, darling. You were programmed to respond physically, jeering, negatively, pushing back against because you were lied to by your vicars, your popes, your Bibles, your this, your that, the bad people that run the planet. You were owned, controlled, conditioned, emotionally misled by the people that you put your biggest trust in. And there is proof everywhere you could possibly look. Now, the Sakars, who were these disgusting, filthy reptilians who ate us, we're food to them, we're loose to them, along with disgusting grey aliens, yes, they existed too, they have been swiped off like the scum they are off of our planet. Now, if anybody out there is like, oh yeah, but it's a grey, oh, where's your compassion? Balls with cherries on top to compassion. We're in a war. This is a war. It is a spiritual war. Okay. More call you like, just move along, please. Because there are people that need to hear this because it's happening to them. And some of them are quite frightened right now. Some of them don't know what's going on. And that's what I'm doing. I'm explaining a few things, dropping a few things in to help us all sort stuff out. Now, the greys and the reptilians were removed. And what did that leave? That left the top layer of the elites that run the world who have made deals and sacrificial deals with the devil, the dark, the dark side, the demonic side, the bad. You can have everything if you do this. Do this and you can ask me for a spell and I'll get you that. It's been going on all the time, forever and ever. You are literally seeing the collapse of every system. It's in your face. And now it's hip hop. It's Puff Daddy. Now that man is not going to go down without dragging people like Jay-Z and Beyonce with him. Oh, don't see anything about them. I'm just reporting facts that are all over the internet, everywhere you look and everywhere you go. Now, there are people like them at the top who do deals with demonics, demons, that literally share their vessels, literally share their bodies, literally inhabit their space. You can even see Beyonce herself saying out loud that she can't sing and dance like she normally does in rehearsals until she's on stage and something takes her over. A, a, another personality she names Sasha Fierce. Just as an example, this is very, very commonplace in many different systems across your planet. And right now we're focusing on hip hop. The darkness, the evil, the orgies, the non-consensual misuse of the physical body, man on man on man on man. And of course, women, we all know that. This is really coming to the fore. And a lot of men who you never would have imagined like to enjoy and help themselves to other men against their will film them, blackmail them, harm them, bribe them, pay them with homes and cars and record deals. Now, I'm gonna to move to witches and warlocks a little bit here. Do not think that they are not real. They are so real. The warlocks are the male witches. Witches are the female witches. There are many different levels and layers of witches. Your government, across each country. Don't forget Africa. Every little county in Africa has its own president, government, prime minister, right? Australia, one prime minister, Britain, one prime minister, America, one prime minister or president. And 
some other countries, namely Africa, many, many, many different prime ministers, okay? The witches and the warlocks are present throughout all governments, all levels and layers, and also in particular, all present in all layers and levels within the military, with inside the military, okay? Now I'm gonna tell you one thing. If you can't wrap yourself around that, that's okay, it's fine, doesn't matter. I'm reporting what I know to be absolute gospel, absolute truth, absolute reality, okay? That's what I'm reporting on here right now. It goes all the way to the top. The witches and the warlocks in the militaries go all the way to the very top. Now, if such darkness and evil did not exist, ask yourself one question. When our sons and daughters and our brothers and our sisters are sent off to war all of these decades and they see atrocities and they are harmed and they are damaged, fracked and broken, tortured in ways we could never imagine, when they come back to their country, why doesn't their government take care of them? Right there, right there. There is no question and don't you dare go into the program that clicks in the brain where well, there's not enough money, that's bollocks, stop. It is an insertion. So everything I'm saying to you, follow where your mind goes. This is how we can start to unravel the programs that are in us, okay? Now I know I'm talking around and around and I'm doing it on purpose. We have to do it on purpose, okay? Because there's too much to cover here, but it's all true. And those of you that are aware and awake and looking around and have done your own reading, had your own experiences, done your own research, you know at this point, ideally, you are following no one. You are not obsessed with a single celebrity, actor, star, vicar, pope, whatever. No obsessive connections to anyone. This is an inside job for each individual single person. And because of the Sakaar aliens, the Draco from the Draco Empire, mostly in the Orion Zone, the dark evil has been swiped. The greys have been swiped. They were plugging in to the demonic realm, the satanic realm that was running everything. And the satanic realm is possessing many, 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 many bodies, human bodies, human, human bodies of your leaders. Leaders that have been running your countries, leaders that are still running your countries, leaders that you're seeing on TV every single day. Oh, not mine. Yes, yours. Yes, yours. No, but I, I would know. Would you? I didn't. I fell for it too. I fell for it all. I believed them all because I was programmed. I was brainwashed. I was raised. I was brainwashed. I went to school. I was schooled. I was groomed just like you were. Oh no, not me, I'm too smart. Are you really? I thought that too. I thought that too. I'm clairvoyant. I see what's attached to people. I hear it, I taste it even, I feel it. Even I fell for it, didn't wanna see it, didn't wanna believe. No, they're so sweet. All the little greys, oh, they're so cute. All the reptilians, they look like alligators and crocodiles. Oh, people are so mean to them. Yeah, of course they're mean to them. They'll eat you, abduct you in the past, in the past. I know people get triggered now. They're like, they haven't gone, they're still here. This is not that conversation. My understanding, my knowledge, my knowing, my insight, my validated information is they are gone. And so the demons are now out of control. So as we see hip hop, which is a massive mafia, it is a mafia, a malevolent mafia. Now, let me tell you about some of the people inside the hip hop that we're seeing. Cardi B, Cardi B, filthy, dirty, disgusting, sexual, sexual, provocative, talking of the most foul things. You should never talk about moistness in places that aren't you know, conducive to children listening to music. She has confessed and admitted in her own words that she knows she's conjuring a demon. When she's singing some of the filth, the sexual songs, she knows she's conjuring, conjuring a demon, a demonic. Okay, something else to note too. This is true. And I'm gonna put a link here 
His name is John Todd, and there are three recordings of him. John Todd, his name used to be John Collins, came over on a boat from England to America, a whole family of witches and warlocks, the Collins family, the Collins family. John Todd found Christ, found Jesus, and turned in all the information, and I'm going to put it underneath this broadcast for you to listen to. One of the practices that still happens to this very day, when an album's coming out, and you've got high satanic witches in your face, you've got high satanic warlocks in your face, there is a group of witches and warlocks and demonics and satanists and occultists that will stand and do prayers and rituals over the top of an album or a song that's coming out. Yes, they are conjuring, they have been conjuring, and they have conjured spells across humanity. You know the biggest spell that we all got caught up in watching? I used to think, God, the bloody Super Bowl. Oh, yawn, you know, I'm not really into American football. I prefer rugby, where the men aren't wearing all that, you know, that... Um, Padding, like me, a big, big real man. That's how we grow up in England. Anyway, moving along, <laughs> I bet that triggered some people. It's all right, I'm just playing. I do love me a big American football player too. So um, we go to the, what do we go to? We go to the halftime show. It's so good. It is the biggest friggin' in your face satanic ritual event ever. It is the biggest in your face satanic ritual event. And when we're all watching it, we're all plugged into it. The satanic elite are so friggin' clever, evil, ugly, like worthless, worthless, not emotionally intelligent at all, like devoid of that. But they are so clever at hoodwinking and spelling. And now, jigs up, boys and gals, jig is up. They are crashing down. They are desperate to hold on to life. So now you need to be more vigilant for yourself. Don't go into fear and drama and victimhood and martyrhood. Because if you do, that's just because you've got other unhealed stuff, darling. Unhealed stuff. It's our job right now to focus here on the heart, connect to love, connect to God, to Jesus, to Yeshua, to whatever is good for you. But obviously not Satan, you know, but that part is over. Um, that little black league is on its way out. Of course, because love wins, love won and good does win. Now, what else are you gonna see? And let me tell you about this quickly. Um, as the witches and the warlocks are crashing down, the spells aren't working like they were, who <laughs> no, misses, because the fear element has dropped. The spelling capturing that was over our planet that was held in place by the Sakaar and the Greys too, and the matrix um, programming, well, they, they, they're not holding on. The spells aren't holding on anymore. You're seeing people that were on a roll for so long, everything they put out, I'm so good, look at me. I have a movie, a documentary, I have a fashion line, I have a new song, I have a new album. And now it's all going to shit. It's going to shit because the plugins and the deals they've all made are being undone. The contracts have ended. The energy is falling. The energy is falling. Ooh, I'm getting a lot of interruptions doing this, but I will continue because this is all the truth. Now, I'm going to mention through this little video here, the demons, the shapeshifters, and the witches and the lower entities. Um, I want to tell you that the demonics that exist still, who are plugged into current presidents that call themselves presidents that are standing on stage, okay? Former presidents who are running a president in the public eye, right? In America, for example. Yeah? You read between the lines? You got it? That was the biggest shock for me. I totally fell for that one. Thought he was the loveliest man in the world. Oh, my God. Anyway, it's disappointing, but you got to get over it. You literally have to get over it. you got to have the cry, have the scream, have the swear, and then get on and move forward. Don't get stuck there. Don't unpack your bags in grief. How could I have been so blind? I was. I fell for it too. It's all right. It doesn't mean you're a loser. It actually means you're a good person and you want to see the best in people, just like I do. Okay? 
and that we give them a chance and we show them kindness and we we start to listen and we get hooked into the hypnoticness of their words and what they're going to do. Oh, they're going to do this. They're going to do that. Yeah. So it's all right. So don't be hard on yourself. Okay. I was in bed for three days when I found everything out all at once and realized even the things that kept nagging, I kept ignoring. No, they would never do that. You can't imagine the evil that they do that the leaders at the top of your planet who are being kicked and arrested and taken down, you can't imagine it because you'd never do it. See, that's the final point on that. You can't imagine it because you would never do it. You would never do it. And they bank on that. They bank on that. They bank on that. So the demons, the dark demons, many, many different levels. There have been what's known as principalities. Let's say there's a quadrant of four, north, east, south, and west on this beautiful planet, each heavily dominated by a pillar of demonics. Each one, if we go top down at the top, and I've seen one of them, the most evil, dark, ancient, ancient that you could ever or never imagine. And they're at the top. Okay, and I have seen one and I had physical contact with one and I never want to see it again in my whole life. But I'm telling you because I've seen it physically, not in my dream, not in La La Land, not in a meditation, not in a norming. No, that's why I sit in front of you with absolute passion, compassion, conviction, because I saw it. And that's just how I bloody set my life up. I'm telling you, if I come back, I am not doing that again. <laughs> I'm not doing that again, but at least it's a way for me to be able to hold truth and look you in the eye and say it. So this ancient demon sits atop countless, 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 countless other demonics. They all want the top job. And to get the top job, they all do the worst things imaginable. And they're constantly fighting. It's total chaos, chaos, chaos. So let's say you've got four quadrants on the planet, northeast, south, and west, with these legions upon legions upon legions. I'm talking millions and millions of demonics. The noise is deafening. A stench is, is repugnant. So they're there, and they're fighting for the top job. But as the light has burst onto the planet over these past few years. You can see them. Those of us that are clairvoyant and clairsentient, we're seeing them, we're feeling them, and we're looking at them in the eye. And we're moving through completely and utterly fearless, no fear. Now that's your one weakness against darkness and Demonics is fear. Their energy source is only kept alive, now listen, by grabbing you and scaring you to death, empowering themselves up on fear because they are the exact opposite to love. They are the exact opposite to love. So if you decide, and it is a choice you make, to go into fear, you've lost. Now, I've had so many years of demonic attacks, physical, when I was a little girl, stories in my book. My book is called Angels, Demons, and Aliens by Danny Henderson. And I have put in there many, many of my true life, real life, real time experiences with angels, demons, and aliens. And the story of the ancient demonic is in there. And thanks to the old bag who left me a review on Amazon and said, I don't think the story of the demon should have been in there. I couldn't sleep that night. Wah, wah, boo hoo, you old bag. You lost me a point. <laughs> anyway, angels, demons, and aliens. So by the time I came face to face, physically with this giant, it looked like a big black giant bull, a big black giant bull. The smell, I can't even describe the smell. I can't describe it. It's worse than shit. I, it, no, there's no word. It was so, oh, it was awful. 
but I was so angry at it because I have no fear of them. I've seen so many, and now they're just a joke. I get out of the way. <laughs> you know, there's a demon. <laughs> God, that's so pathetic. That's one of the worst things you can do. It pisses them off and it drains the battery. It drains them. Now they're going to be coming for everybody through your friends, through your family, coming and attacking you, catching on, linking on, pushing people to fight. If people aren't fighting, then they're not staying alive. If we're all fighting, we're all attacking, well, then they're living. We're giving them life force. We're literally giving them life force, okay? These demons, entities, even earthbounds with their own attachments to, ugh, this is true, this is happening, this is going on. So don't go into fear, don't be a victim, don't be a martyr, just stop it. Look yourself in the mirror, be kind, and just tell yourself to knock it off. Knock off being a, a whinging, whining, ah, you know, it, we've all suffered. There isn't anybody that hasn't, oh, you've no idea what I've gone through, really? Let me, let me bring five people that will make you weep on your knees at their suffering. We have to stop thinking that our stuff is more important than everybody else's. Okay, we're brothers and we're sisters. Let's stand strong together. Okay, let's listen to the information that we're getting on this channel and other channels that make sense for us. Let's go here. Let's alchemize the pain in the body. Let's stand strong, move forward as a unit, as a loving, unified, beautiful, creative source, okay? I get dragged in. We all get dragged in. We're human. I can't stand the stuff I have to deal with online, with empty vessels like Ishmael Perez putting out lies, absolute evil, evil. You know, we just got to like push past, roll over them because they're so vacant and vacuous. They're disappearing. No one's plugging into that anymore. People that are empty vessels, they can't stay alive or maintain without causing corruption, disruption, divisiveness, you know, spelling, lying, you know, ooh, creating this image of beauty and power, plugging in, using hypnotic words and thoughts and uh, codes and vibrations. It's very simple to do. All the witches and warlocks have those codes. It's very, very easy. Now, demon shapeshifters. There's a lot of shapeshifting happening about three years ago, I think it was, I was in, I was at a conference in California and I was talking to this really cute boy um, and uh, absolutely gorgeous, so sweet and vulnerable and la 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 and he wanted to come on my channel and I was chit chatting away and all of a sudden, oh my God, his eyes completely changed into a reptilian. This is right before they were swept off the planet, right before in front of me, he went reptoid like that and I laughed because I'm not scared, like I said, this so I've had so much of a, you know, a lifetime of this. I looked at him, I went, oh, reptilian, he went, what? I went, well, reptilian, he went, what do you mean? I went, well, you just showed me your reptoid part, the part of your, he went, what do you mean? I went, and I thought, wow, he doesn't know, he doesn't know. Anyway, that was one, so that, so people will show you who they are, the entities will come through them, show you who they are, um, I was in a, a foreign country. I was living there a couple of years. Uh, this was two years ago, two and a half years ago. And I was attacked in the jungle by a giant man. Um, he was waiting for me. And um, luckily I can fight and I had to fight this giant. And uh, you should never mess with a 50 year old with an umbrella in her hand wearing Dr. Martin boots because you're going to get a beating. <laughs> Anyway, um, I can laugh about it now. It's very traumatizing for quite a while. But my point is this, how demonics hide inside bodies or possess people and take them over in an instant. So this man, this gigantic man, has waited for me in the jungle. I'm coming down a little pathway. There's no houses there. He jumps out on me. He's trying to get me to look down and pretend he's hurt himself. I saw his hand coming from my neck and I realized he's going to. So I pushed him and I said, stop. I forget the Spanish word right now for stop. But anyway, I don't don't put it in the comments. I don't care. I'm just telling you a story. OK, I don't need educating. Thank you. So I pushed back on this this man. And then the next thing he grabs me so violently. It's just shocking. Like he grabbed me hard in places he shouldn't. And his eyes were slits. He was completely and utterly gone. He was completely and utterly possessed and taken over. Now, thank God. I, my, okay, just shorten the story. I had an umbrella in my hand with a wooden handle. And thank God I had it. 
I had a signal before, right before I turned the corner to get my umbrella out my bag. And what I did was I, I smashed him across the face first and he went like that. And then I jabbed him in the throat. Okay, ladies, gentlemen, right in the throat. I mean, you go for the eyes first, ideally, in the throat. And when I did the throat, whacked him as hard as I could with the wood because he had hold of me. He was trying to get me down on the ground. Whatever was possessing him bounced out. And he went. And then I saw a frightened young man that had no idea how he was in that position. And that from one second to the next makes people a murderer. From one second to the next makes people a murderer. Okay. So again, the systems are coming down. I'm telling you about the demonics. I'm telling you how they possess. I'm giving you real time, real stories that happened to me, which is how I know what I'm talking about. I'm now watching all the hip hop system come down just like you are. And I'm telling you, a lot of these people at the top are owned by demons. They have done spells and rituals that Puff Diddy has blackmailed and filmed and abused many, many people, boys and girls, in or under his care. It is in word, it is written, it is recorded, it is coming out. Now, we are have to, uh, having to have an awareness of all the different systems, governments, music, medicinal, 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 historical, scientific, educational, uh, technological, um, and it's all out. So don't think there's a single, and the thing is, a lot of you come on my channel because you love to, us to talk about the beautiful extraterrestrials, the spacecraft that the military make when they pretend it's UFOs, but it's really them transporting little people and transporting big people and transporting all kinds of drug paraphernalia. Uh, they're the ones doing the arms deals. That's the CIA doing the arms deals. Just look up Project Studebaker, the old boy Bush, that the dead one. Um, was in charge of that don't care i don't care you need an ass whipping you all need a kick in that we're all involved in that and the whole world is knowing about you now now let me tell you about a really beautiful friend of mine one of the bravest people in the whole entire world and her name is kathy o'brien and the o'brien is b-r-i-e-n kathy with a c i love this woman this brave brave woman this brave woman, Kathy O'Brien, was used by her pedophilic father and sold into the CIA, and they paid him to teach her all of the um, uh, foul grooming that grown adults can do to each other, but nobody should ever do to a little person. And she is a little tiny weeny person. I mean a baby. I mean an infant. I mean a newborn. Her father did those things. And oh, they do like that. Some of the people in the governments, the, the, the agencies that you think are there to protect you, the dark sides of them that exist. So my darling friend barely survived. She was rescued, fell in love with a beautiful man called Mark Phillips, who was at the highest level of intelligence. And he helped her undo the programming. It's called MK Ultra or Project Monarch. There's many different names for it. But this book, names, names, Names people in your governments. Cheney's in there. Bush is in there. Many others are in there too. This is a woman who lived to tell the tale of being used and trafficked as a tool, a physical tool, a spy, no control over herself, sat zombified. And then she had a little girl and they did the same things to her daughter. And Kathy O'Brien, in my lifetime, and I love her and I call her a friend, she will be exonerated and so will her child. And those who, who maimed, you know what time it is. Now, mentioned vacant vessels, um, shape-shifting, and I wanna tell you about um, a couple of other things as well. I want to tell you about the Red Witch. Now, I didn't even know that was a thing. I had no idea. Sometimes we see someone or something and suddenly we hear, we remember, we get an image or a visual. Or So I was at a conference and it was in these beautiful woods in the forest, beautiful red trees everywhere, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I'm in the room and I feel something over here. 
and I look and there is a woman. Now, the fact that she had red hair really is nothing to do with it, but she did have all this wild, bushy, frizzy red hair. She's looking right at me. And I'm like, now I'm not even online at this point. I'm not even speaking out on the things I speak out on now. I'm not even, I don't even have a YouTube channel at this point. I mean, I've been, I've done things my whole life, but not like I do now as intensely. I look at her and I go, oh God. And then I went back inside and I'm like, oh my God, who, holy shit. What is that? What is that frequency coming off that woman? Why is she beaming that at me? I'm like, oh my God, she's a red witch. Then I said, Danny, what's a red witch? I have no idea what a red witch is. Anyway, that bloody woman, she came after me. She chased me. She was trying to touch me, trying to hug me. Oh my God. And I'm really polite. I'm, I'm British. Oh, how do you do? Oh yeah, sure. Take my arm. I've got another one. You know, us Brits can be so pathetic in how we want to please everybody. And we want to be so bloody polite, bloody, bloody buggering hell. Damn you, Queen Victoria, you old bag. Anyway, <laughs> it wasn't just Victoria. It's all of them. Um, anyway, moving along. Um, so this woman, and then I remember at one point I'm having dinner with um, some of the speakers, etc. And then this woman comes in the restaurant and leans over and grabs food off my off my plate. Any, she was trying to get hold of anything, pos anything she could to do with me. I'm like, why is that woman hounding me? because she saw something and she wanted to correct it, stop it. Anyway, I come home and I spoke to a couple of people. I'm like, what the hell is a red witch? I have no idea. It just came to me. And they said, well, they're really, really not good. Really not good witches. Because again, just like in the satanic, remember I told you about the principalities, North, East, South and West, there are others as well. And they're all different colors. They're all different symbologies. Some of them will stand on the water magic, the sex magic, the black magic, Gray, red. I mean, there's so many different layers and levels here. Uh, too much to go into right now. But again, giving you an insight into what's happening. So you are armed. So you know. And if you're doing this shit, you better know what time it is. Because none of you are getting out. And that's the funny thing as well. The funniest thing to me is the stupidity in those that believe they've spilled enough blood. They've done enough ritual. They've done enough harm and hurt. And it's going to give them like a golden key to sit beside Satan or Lucifer, whatever one you whatever you want to call it, B bollocks, mollocks, Beasley Bub, whatever, who cares? Um he doesn't care about you. He's the most corrupt, it's the most corrupt energy in the world. It uses and abuses to have its will done because it wants to replace the creator, God. It wants to play, replace the real God. Oh, by the way, listen to this. When you see on television or in a, an event, when you see someone like a president or whatever, or someone at an award ceremony in Hollywood, I want to thank God. I thank God. You need to ask yourself, if you care, which God? Yeah. Some of you, the plug-in goes, the only God I had heard that in my brain there, because that was my old evangelical, crazy, insane uh, religious training I had as a child. What God are they referring to? Nine times out of 10, that lot? It's not a benevolent, loving creator of loving, giving source. No, it's Satan, Lucifer, Moloch, Bollock. Ah, I know it can be really hard to hear this and none of us really want to. And we want to imagine how we have imagined this this world to be. But it's happening now. The good stuff's happening. You're seeing them all come crashing down. You're seeing it. It's happening. So take some joy in that. It is happening. Do not have compassion. Don't be an idiot. Stop forgiving everything right now against the dark. That's how they get you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a great alien and I abducted you and I ruptured your womb and your ovaries over and over and over and you couldn't have children in this lifetime because I was a great and I needed you. You really going to forgive that? Really? Really? Maybe rethink that, my love. The war is in full progress, okay? When it's all done and won and all the darkness has gone, then don't forgive them all. Don't waste your time now. Don't waste your energy. The minute you put attention there, what happens? Nothing is in creation without the observer. You know how much power we have? You know how magical we are? How beautiful we are? 
We so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Oh my God. Now, there are people that say over and over, please help me, please help me. I'll do anything. I'll do anything. I'll do anything. No, you won't. No. Now, one of the reasons why I had all the demons attached to me as a tiny child is because my house was so haunted. There was so much violence going on around in my life that I would beg and pray and beg and pray and beg and pray. And what I did was attract demonics. I attracted little entities that would get off on my fear, attach to my body and try and take me over. So don't be out there saying, I'll do anything, I'll do anything, I'll do anything. No, that is like a big signal out to the dark side. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do anything to find the man, to get the part, to get the job, to pay the mortgage. No. Listen, a lot of you did that already, my darlings, because you had to and you had no choice and you didn't. You really didn't. And I, have com I do have compassion for you there. I really do. Those that just couldn't, you know. There's way too much judgment on that. Way too much judgment. Let me just make sure that I'm getting through this. Um, the I'll do anything. Um, I was going to say about Beyonce, when she sits and she talks about this Sasha Fierce personality, it's either conscious or unconscious. I personally believe looking at all the signs and the symbology that goes out, the better you get at learning about symbology, occultism, black magic, just to observe and understand what they're doing to you and all the signaling and signs that you see. Um, you know, uh, you, 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 well, I'll stop there. I'll stop there. So conscious or unconscious, there are deals they've made with the devil on purpose to own and be the best, to run the world, to rule the world in their field, to own and run the world in their field, to be at the top, working with the top demons in the demonic principalities in order to usurp all of you. You didn't get that job. You didn't get this. You didn't get that person. You lost all your money. All of that happened because darker entities were at play. People that you think are your loving spiritual guides, I've told you a thousand times, those of you that watch my channel on a regular basis, you are not plugging in to a lot of good guides. Okay, you have guides that are messing with your life. So have the courage to line them all up, imagine them all in your mind and fire them one by one. Get rid of them. You don't need a dummy or a pacifier anymore. This is your time to get this clear and clean, alchemize, connect to love and connect with your source, your creator, whoever that is. And the only that is should only be love true, deep, joyful, beautiful, high resonating love. Because when you are in that state of joy and love and you have all parts of you from lower root chakra all the way up, out, and you're connecting to love, the darkness can't find a way in. No, there's no door for you. Be gone, little piece of shit, be gone. Guys, we've got to find the humor in the darkness because if we don't, it takes us down takes us down into the lower entities, the lower negativities where I got captured. I got captured. I was completely, my space was so full of demons and demonics. And if I can sit on YouTube on my channel and I can own that, what's to stop you getting over your ego, looking in the mirror? I used to tell myself, why would I do so much work on myself? Why would I pray to Jesus and I do this and I do that? Wow, listen to all that. Who cares? We are all vulnerable and don't think the Pope, the Vicar, the Cardinals, all those shirt lifting men misbehaving, don't think for a second that any single one person on your planet, and I mean, there isn't one person I can think of that is not without the observation, the observation that creates the creativity, that everyone takes responsibility for self and energy. I don't see one pure person without exception on my planet. The purest babies, babies coming in. No wonder they're a target. Now, those of you that want to start getting clear in your space, one of the um, prayers I use with fierceness um, is I rebuke you, I bind you, I cast you out. If you think there's anything attached, you know, you sit, go in. Breathe into yourself and just sit and just look around your space. Use your imagination to bring the information. Let's see what's there. You know, don't think they don't hide. Don't think that you are so pure in light. Love and light. What does that even mean, love and light? Oh, people throw that statement away, don't they, all the time? Um, there's goodness in it. Of course there is, but 
you know, a lot of people who've done no work at all say that. And that's all right. That's all right. We're all in our, on, on our journey at different levels. So look around yourself. And if you feel or you see or you sense something, looking through your third eye, looking through your pineal gland, where you project your piezo electricity, which is part of your normal makeup of your bi uh, bi uh, genetic uh, biome, your organic biome here. So you can just imagine seeing something, grab it, throw it in a bubble, toss it out. Don't negotiate. Don't make a deal. Don't make a promise. And don't listen. Okay? There's a lot of you watching this that are very talented. You are very metaphysical. You are very in touch with God, with angels, with love. You've seen the things I talk about. You've had connections with ETs, beautiful benevolent ETs, not the demonic dark ones, or maybe you have, but we don't bring them into the equation. We just focus on the benevolent ones. A lot of you are very clever, very advanced. That's why you come to my conference, Galactic Spiritual Informers, which we'll get back to later. But even I sit here before you, with all the years of work I've done and do, and I still look around my field and make sure that I haven't got any hitchhikers, okay? All of us should do that. Kathy O'Brien, names, leaders, some still alive, CIA, FBI. Um, demons using our soldiers, of course. Um, uh, you need to get clear, I rebuke you, I bind you. And, and I think finally I'll leave you with this. I want to remind you that you are so powerful. Oh my God. Oh my God. You are so powerful. Um, you know, and, and things like, you know, it's so hard to trust the food, trust the water, trust the air, because everything is poisoned. There is a consistent global genocide. Now, not even the whiteies, you know, those that think that everything happens to all the other colored skins, you know, and there's a lot of that. I know it's a trigger and it's all right. They plan that. They plan it. They want us to all fight, okay? So not even the whiteies now can get away without being targeted. The whole global genocide is in your face. It's been happening for years. They are trying to take and ruin as many lives and take as many things down as they can before their scum is removed off our planet. And they are bleached away into oblivion. Oblivion. People like Puff Daddy, the, the, the determination to become legendary and be remembered in people's minds. No one's going to remember him. No one's going to remember the dark ones. No one's going to allow the stain, the vibration or the imprint of their names on our beautiful planet. It's not going to happen. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye there. Be gone. See you never. See you, see you. I wouldn't want to be here. So powerful, how powerful you are. So, so believe, please, that with your own energy, your own energy, you can literally take a cup. You can literally send your love into the fluid. I have coffee in here. Drink put your coffee. Say a prayer into the coffee. I bless this coffee. I'm grateful for it. May the purestness of it, you know, inhabit my vessel and allow me to stay high frequency, clean and clear, you know, coffee. I do love me a coffee. Um, and uh, you can bless your food, you know, just literally. To frequency your own energy instantly, just do this. Rub your hands together really, really, really fast. And what you'll find when you do that is you will create fusion friction, electrical magnetic frequency, electromagnetic frequency. It raises the blood. You can see my face getting red because I'm pushing. It's really creating heat and then very slowly, very slowly, barely part them and you can feel the electricity behind them. I use this for healing on myself or I put it over the food I'm about to eat and I bless it with my love and I'm grateful. I'm grateful to anything I'm eating, I'm grateful. And you can do that too. Trust yourself and no one else. And if you've got a bossy partner or a bloody bossy husband that I used to have, we're friends now. God, he was so bossy. Everything I did was dominated and looked into and looked over. And, you know, why are you reading that? It's insulting. And, but all that was was his fear of me evolving, which I did out of the marriage. <laughs> um, so don't let anyone, you know, stop you. And if someone is like that, you know, be kind for a moment. Maybe they need to understand that you have a need to grow and study and find things out for yourself and whatever you learn, you'll share with them. 
So you bring them along with you. I mean, don't do all the work, of course. <laughs> We've all got our own job to do. It's an inside job, everyone. It really is. Bless your food. Bless your space in your home the same way. You know, sending prayers, bringing light, imagining light coming from you, from your hands. You know, take your sage, beautiful, ancient, indigenous, ancient tools. Why are they there? They're there for a reason because they work. Blessing the space. Um, uh, when a leader uh, gives thanks to God, what God? Remember that one. If a leader is giving thanks to God, what God? Watch what pan they put on the Bible. Is it left hand or right hand? Now, all these things I've mentioned are all everywhere in books, online, on lots of different videos that are happening. But I want to leave this with you. You are witnessing all of the systems come crashing down. Okay? All of them. No exceptions. No exceptions. And you are going to see people gather now watch who gathers with who now let me give you the list of names these to me are the best names in the world right now of the best people and they're all gathering together in one place you want to come you want to see them you want to know the secrets of the universe and your planet do you do you want to know about hidden technology that we can't talk about online because still there are boob tube police blocking everything you want to come? You want to see the best speakers in the world? You want to see David Adair? Oh, yes, David Adair, the original rocket man. He is so brilliant. He was making rockets better than NASA could, better than the Nazis could. Oh, yes, he did. David Adair, you want to come and see the legendary Christian Northrup, the medical bombastic leader that's telling the reality of that entire industry? You want to come and see Dr. Lee Merritt? Dr. Lee Merritt, naval surgeon with all her secrets. You want to come see Elena Danan, who even NASA follow because she has the latest intel and in what's actually happening off planet Elena Danan. You want to see Jean Charles Moyen, French secret super soldier who's flown in the French military spaceship. They have one. It's called the Solaris. Did you know that? Well, you do now. Do you want to come and see Melanie Charré? Melanie Charré. Also very sacred, ancient soul. She comes from a lineage of beings called the Gemin. This lady goes off planet rescuing hybrid children. You know how many experiments are done on our children? Did you know? On people? Did you know? Melanie Chardin. Michael Sala, Dr. Michael Sala, a legend, a respected legend, a referencer of historical facts all through the military, proving, sharing information on the secret space programs, Dr. Michael Sala. Dan Willis, another world first, of course, at GSIC Galactic Spiritual Informers Connection, our conference of the names I'm giving you right now. Dan Willis created an, an ability to connect off planet with information to how to use a crystal, crystal technology, crystals, quartz crystals with silver and copper that create a fusion and an energy called frill. It is the natural created energy in our universe. It is called frill. And guess what? Upstairs, our brothers and our sisters, they power up their homes this way. You know what else is great? It's free. Stick it up your ass, Edison and JP Morgan. We'll have no more of that. We'll have, we'll have no more of the elite taxing, making us pay to live and eat and breathe and drink water on our own planet. Up yours. We also have Tony Rodriguez. Oh my God. Tony Rodriguez is somebody who was taken into the satanic environment as a beautiful little baby boy. Okay. Then sold into the American military and they paid for it. Oh, these are bad buggers. These are bad buggers. Don't you dare think that all the militaries and all the governments, I think anyone watching this at this stage now isn't that dumb, right? You know, they are corrupt, full of witches and warlocks. Tony Rogge is going to be on that stage. And I'm interviewing him actually tomorrow on my channel to come back. He is going to be sharing the latest information he's got on the way that he has come to remote view remote view he doesn't follow any other program out there he doesn't he doesn't he it's all come through him he's been off planet as you know so many things i could say about tony wood Riggs, and i love him so much jerry wills you want to meet a real life friggin alien in the flesh jerry wills he's going to be standing on that stage telling you his story you can feel 
the way he radiates. Jerry Wills, psychic healer. I love Jerry Wills. Even just remembering and feeling back into his frequency does something instantly to me in a good way. A calm, a, a knowingness. I did a two hour interview with him on my channel, Jerry Wills. It is beautiful. And he told me in all of his years, which is over 35, of being out in the public, he'd never given as much detail of his memory coming from a craft onto our planet. And it was at the time of Dwight Eisenhower and Dwight's administration. This is how far back the governments have been working with off-planet benevolent extraterrestrials and malevolent. And the malevolent ones are gone now. That's why there's so much light. That's how we can sit here and talk about all the things we're talking about. And me specifically, because just me on my own here with you, you know, I don't have 10 different personalities. I don't think, <laughs> just kidding. Also, we've got the one and only Nikki Allen. Nikki Allen is a British psychic medium. And last year she took us into a beautiful meditative journey into connecting with angels, the heavenly realm. We get to do that. We get to access that through love. We get to do that ourselves, not through a barrier or a people or a religion. No, straight to source. Source is here. We came in with it. We're a spark of love. And we also have a surprise guest that I will not name his name. I'll tell you it's a man. I will not name his name. I just named David Adair. I just announced David Adair. I was holding on to that one too. He's coming on my channel next week. David Adair, rocket man. Oh my God. Putting NASA to shame. Wait till you hear his information. And if you want to see David Adair, Dr. Michael Sala did four uh, part episodes on Dr. Michael Sala, Exopolitics Today on YouTube. Mind blowing. Oh my God, Dr. Michael Sala, I'm so grateful that you brought David Adair into my frame of reference and now he's speaking at our conference. And so is Dr. Michael Sala, the best of the best. So this beautiful man, I'm not going to say his name, is going to be there. We're not sure yet if he's going to be live on Zoom or whether we can physically have him there. Um, more of that at another time. And then we have the physicist Dan Winter, who lives in France, can't come to America. He's American. A lot of you know him. He's got some great technology out there, Therify technology, similar to the Tesla coils, using uh, advancing technology um, for different healing modalities in the body. So that group of people right there, 13 of them, are going to be standing on stage in Westminster, a town in Colorado in America. The dates are September 27, 28, 29. Three days of these insanely brilliant, undisclosed, do not bring young children. We are telling you what's happened, what's happening, but we're also bringing solutions, okay? We're going to watch the UFOs that come in every night. The real ones, not the military ones, because the ones from the military, you can spot them a mile off. I call them the have-a-go UFOs. Move along there. Off you go, pop it. Let's have the real ones come in. So that's happening. And Skywatch every night and so many other beautiful things. Too much to tell you here. But anyway, I'm going to leave you that thought that you are magical, you are powerful, you are love. Please don't let anyone ruin you, infect you with their unhealed wounds. This is your time to stand up, to rise from within, to love you first, to focus on you. And don't be scared of what you're seeing around you. You're seeing the hip hop come down. We're seeing governments come down. We're seeing the people we've loved and adored the most be shown for who they really are and the inverted darkness that they really are. And as we're witnessing, Let's get cleaned up in here. Let's be good. Let's be kind. Let's be loving to ourselves first. Stop being a martyr. Stop being a victim. Stop emptying yourselves out for everybody else. Knock it off. Because it doesn't do you any good anyway. No one's going to come forward and go, oh, I remember how kind you were to me. No, they're on to the next thing. Take care of you. Love on you. Those warriors out there, 
you spiritual warriors, my brethren, my sisterhood. Stay strong, stay on alert, stay kind, and do not forgive until the war is done. We can forgive all we like later, but right now we're here to protect. Most of us know who we are. A lot of us signed up for this. I'm so happy to see the systems collapsing. It gives me joy because I know the rest of you then will feel hope and happiness. And I want that for you. And I want that for me. All right. My name is Danny Henderson. I'll see you at Galactic Spiritual Informers Connection, September 27, 28, 29 of 2024. And between now and then, send you my love from my heart to yours.